All right, today behind me on the lift, we have a 2002 electric club car. It's got some front end damage, broken leaf spring. This is how you do it. That's the car there. And I don't really need to point out where the damage is because you can see the wheel dangling here. And this leaf spring used to go right there and it snapped. We're gonna take it off. First thing we're gonna do is get a three quarter inch socket and we are going to remove the wheels. The wheels are now off, and the next thing you're gonna need is a 9 16th, either a wrench or a socket. You're gonna need two, because you're gonna have to hold this nut, and you're gonna have the bolt on the back here, and that will free up, that will free up this broken spring right here. Got the nut loose, now I just wanna shake this, and pull on that bolt. Drop this out, just like that. Put your nut and bolt back in that hole after you take the spring out. You're gonna need that later, you don't wanna lose it. We're gonna come over to this other side and we are gonna do the exact same thing, 9 16 or a 14 millimeter, and take that bolt out. Now this one you're not really, the other one was broken so we were able to shake it and pull the bolt out. This one is still connected underneath here, so what we're going to do is get a, uh, uh, rubber mallet and uh, we're going to want to bang the threads up on this side and we're going to tap this bolt out. Now, there's a little bit of pressure on the bolt so we're going to have to get ourselves a metal punch and put it on the end of the bolt so we can continue pushing that through. Alright, I got a metal punch. You could use a screwdriver also. going to pry this up off of the spring using my punch. There we go. It's free. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to remove these two, this, this bolt and this nut in the front. And the back ones, we're just going to loosen up by taking the nut all the way down to the end of the thread. But on the center here, if you look, there's a nut right here that's got to be loosened and it goes through the center of the leaf spring I'll show you on the new one so here's the new one here and that is the center hole there okay so that nut you see underneath there is holding this thing center pretty much on the frame so recap we're gonna take the front bolts out completely and we are going to loosen uh, I'm sorry, take this nut off and uh, remove that bolt completely as well and just loosen the back ones down to the bottom of the thread. These bolts are typically going to be really tight, so you're going to want to use your wrench on the top up there as your hold back. And then I would recommend getting a socket with a nice long handle on it, socket drive, so you have some leverage to break them free or you can use an air gun. That's what I'm going to use. So now, I got the nuts off the front. With very minimum effort, you should be able to pull them up. Now, you got to watch because there's going to be lock washer on each one. All right, you can pull them up. And your center one now should come right out of there as well. All right, and just take note of how that is. Sometimes we take these off, they could be busted. These accumulate a lot of dirt and grass in there, and these tend to break. But these fit in there a certain way. All right, so just keep take note of that. Make sure the ears looks like that. All right, now the back ones, I didn't take all the way off. It was just enough to get this loose enough, and you can see now the spring pulls out. Piece of cake. One thing you might want to do is, see these hubs here, they will pivot up and down now. Um, if you have a bungee cord or uh, a uh, long zip ties or whatever, string, whatever, what I would do is uh, take these and kind of, I'm going to tie it around this front bumper here so it kind of holds this in the air. And same thing with the other side here, because the reason because when you put this new, uh, let me show you. 
when we put this, go to put this new bar up here, it's going to, uh, I don't know if you can see, but those hubs will kind of be in the way. I've got both of my hubs there suspended by the uh, bungee cords. And you can see now, I can literally take this, push up on that plate, and uh, there it is. She's back in there, so I would go ahead and put your center bolt in first to get that centered on there. And uh, then you can go ahead and start putting your front bolts in and tightening the back ones back up. All right, we got the center one in, but that doesn't hold it in place. That just keeps it center. One of your front bolts, and don't forget the lock washer. All right, now that will kind of hold it in place for now, and then you can go ahead and get the other front bolt. Now, before you uh, crank these all down nice and tight, make sure you get your center nut in here. It has to go up in straight, not off to the side. You can turn this. It does have a little thing here for a wrench, if you want to put a little wrench on there and turn that, but uh, you are going to need a socket to get that up there. So just kind of hold your finger up here, put your socket on, and get this thing completely center, and drive that nut all the way up, all right? Because that's going to be important that this whole uh, assembly is center. And you'll know when, after you tighten it, if that nut is still in the center and your socket can still slide on it. You don't want that over here to the side. Now we can go ahead and tighten all these bolts back up. Now you can go ahead and remove those bungees, lower these down. All right, and what you're going to need to do to line these up is you may need to get yourself a rubber mallet and tap on this to get this to start sliding on and probably get a punch if you need it to line that hole up so you can put your nut and bolt back through. Now we'll put our bolt in, tap it in there. We can go ahead and put the nut on. And just go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. The bolt may not line up, you may get it halfway through and then it may jam up coming out the back. So just use your punch or a pry bar to kind of try to pull down on that spring a little bit and tap on the bolt at the same time until that bolt pops all the way through. And that's it. You can see that our leaf spring is now on, throw your tires back on, and that's it. It's uh, pretty simple, not too hard, not rocket science, but uh, hey, if this tip helped you out, Hit subscribe below, please. Give me a like, and I'll see you guys next time.